everyone. In this video, we're going to be working on West Coast Swing, some turns for the gentlemen, some behind the back hand changes into side by side positions. So let's invite Shane into the video. So we're going to start with the six count pattern first and we'll do a tuck uh, with an outside turn and we're both going to rotate. One, two, three, and four, five, hold six. He holds. I just keep um, filling the space. Yeah. So we'll try that from this side again and break that down. Our normal tap, one, two, three, and right here, as he's sending me off into the four at the beginning of my turn, he's actually turning in tandem with me. Four, we continue the turn five. As you see, he's passing my right hand from his left to his right. And then as he transfers weight slowly out of the six to tell me how far I'm going to be going, I then step on my right side and fill the space however long he's going to allow me to go. So we'll go from the other side. And one, two, three, and four. Hand change five, six, seven, eight. At this point, you can stay here and fill space and time musically, or we can simply do an exit, turning her around, under the arm, so on and so forth. There's lots of different fun things we can do off of that. So let's show that this direction. We go one, two, three, and four, hand change five, six, seven, eight. And that's the other direction. <laughs> oh, is this, we've already done this one, didn't we? Yeah. We're gonna show the exit. Yeah. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now Shane, what do you do as a gentleman looking over your shoulder to get back to your one, two, three, and four. As I send the girl four, I'm sort of prepping my body. Four, then I'm getting around five, changing the hand behind my back, settling on six, and continuing to connect to the girl, giving that right arm very consistent. Now, in. I know right now you're addressing the camera, but naturally as Shane turns and starts to switch the hand, he'll be looking over his right, right shoulder to see his partner and also then to give her the momentum and the space into yeah. that. So and if I rock side to side, when I'm ready, I can free spin the girl, triple step and get a step. So if I did it from this side, one, two, three and four, five, hold six, seven, eight, one, two, three and four, five and six, and we're ready to go again. And just like the fellow, the leader, when he's holding five and pressing into six, he's rolling through his foot into his ankle, knee, and hip to really soften and absorb that. Same thing as the follows. So if I'm doing my follow footwork, I'd be going one, two, traditional or non-traditional, three and four, five, right here. I'm not transferring my weight right away, and I'm not hitting a flat foot and a fully bent knee. I am reaching, I am absorbing through the foot, ankle, knee, and hip to get into that position. So I don't yeah. know how long he's going to let me stay there, or if we're going to stay there at all. Yeah, well we're getting to the cell by six, um, so you know, it feels like basic timing, and then we could come out of it straight away, going straight into triple, triple, but um, the, uh, for the leader, one, two, three, and four. I'm already setting my rotation. And then five, I'm making the hand change, and then six, continuing the rotation for the girl. She pivots into that turn. Then triple step and go step. So that's a good six count. Now let's try the eight count whip. All right, let's not run out the door there. <laughs> One, two, three, and four, five, Six, seven, hold, eight. And you notice Kerry kept going to fill that. And then depending on what I want to do, how far I stay settled in the middle here, or whether I go with her and then just keep that arm nice and short. Yeah, and then same exit, we'll just make it the same triple, triple for the leader and spin for the girl. And the one, two, three, and four, five, turn six, round seven, hold, eight. And if you notice, this is an outside turn off of the whip. And in a previous video, we've done outside turns off of whip. So you can see that one to break it down. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, 
eight. So I'm getting there by seven. I'm making that turn. I'm starting on six and, and then I'm there by seven, and then settling and sliding the girl down by eight. And when I'm ready, triple, triple. You check the same. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then I can shift side to side. If I keep the arm really consistent, then when I send the girl for the spin, it's really easy. So I can show that, that side, sorry. <laughs> yeah, see there? I can send it out and go. And if we do it from this side, so we settle into that connection. You see, Kerry just naturally fill the space. Trip, full step, and step. These are just good tools to have if you want to hit a break or do something a little different. I could get in shadow position here or side by side, and then I could set the tone by adding something in there. And if you look at our line dance video, you'll see Kerry's got boogie walks and Shorty George is in there that you can put right there. Yeah, you could even be in place and add different styling, like hip hop styling, yeah. start to play and right. have a conversation between the two of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it opens a lot up, of fun. yeah, a lot of musicality and interpretation. So keep up your good practice on those gentleman turns behind the back hand changes to the side by side work, and start having some fun, scattering your own flavor into the mix. Enjoy.